Hi, everyone. Um, I'm going to go through this Mrs. Littrell American Studies Thinking About History video remake project for you. This project is a level one project, meaning that it should take about 90 minutes for you to complete. Okay. The goal of this project is to help you understand and embrace the major principles in American history. So when we go throughout the chapter in the year, you, you have a concrete understanding of what these principles are. Okay. Um, basically what you guys are going to do is create a video based upon the historical principle that you are given. All right. You're going to make, remake the video into a new type of format that's more relevant and exciting for a modern audience. Your audience is basically going to be eighth graders and also juniors and seniors. Okay. Um, this first part where it says research and critique part one. Okay, you'll get a letter from me on a post-it, and then you go ahead and watch your video. After you watch the video on a Padlet, you're going to comment one thing that you learn, one way that you think it's influenced the course of America, and one thing that you hated about the video. Okay, that should be the easiest part for you. Part two, you're going to get together with the other A's, B's, C's, whatever letter that you have in your group, and then you're going to subdivide into two smaller groups. So within the group of A, there'll be an A1 and an A2. Okay, I need to know who's in those groups. You'll just get another post-it note from me, and then you'll put your post-it note on the back of the wall next to your class sign. Okay, production. This will be another day, but in that production, basically what I want you to do is to start making your video. Okay, you can do that like we did the YouTube videos last time. You can use a Powtoon. You can use a Vimeo. There's lots of different formats, but I think Powtoon would work really well for this video. But like I said, you can choose whatever you want to um, to create the video to use that format. Okay, the goals of your video, you must communicate the information about the topic, right? I would say three content goals are what you need to use to guide the project. Okay, obviously be creative, collaborate, communicate with your group, okay, make a presentation that's clever, entertaining, but you're still getting across the message. But the message is getting across not like a historical video that you watch, not an old boring video, okay? Make sure it's linear. You have a clear beginning, okay, like a little introduction, like you would write a paper. You have the body of the video, the middle part, and then you have some sort of conclusion at the end that just draws everything in quite nicely for the viewer, okay? I've given you the Powtoon example, so make sure you go through there, all right? And then letter B says, you know, what are you doing and what format you're using? Put that there so your peers will know, okay? The next part that you have to do is to make a Google form for your audience to assess your work. You're making the form, you're making the questions that you want your audience to answer, okay? Hyperlink that to this document, about five to eight questions. You know, make sure you're including good survey questions like their name, grade level that they're in, and then you're asking questions about content, you know, like what is historical thinking, but you're also asking questions like, um, was the video entertaining? Did it keep your attention? What can I do better next time? Those types of questions. Okay. Part four where it's dissemination. Okay. We're going to tweet the link to your class hashtag and at Mrs. Luttrell one. Okay. But we're also going to make sure that you turn in your project link and your Google form link into classroom for me to grade. And then this is letter C it says hyperlink to this document. All you're going to do is basically hyperlink your information there. So when we send that, I can send that document to the other teachers and other students so they can watch your videos and answer your forms to get feedback. Okay. Um, this is the rubric that I will use and the rubric is based on what you wanted me to grade you on and what I think I need to grade you on. So that's the rubric that I will use to grade you to assess your work. Um, then this is a peer review. You guys need to open a doc, okay, share it with your small group and then copy and paste these four questions. And these four questions, your small group is going to answer at the same time after you watch another person in our class's video. Okay, so we're assessing that. Um, then basically all I want you to do is to hyperlink it to that turquoise document, this triple I right here. Okay. Um, the next part, okay, we're doing a little bit more critical thinking and, you know, some analysis of your results, but you guys are going to take the results that you got from those Google forms and you're going to make charts and you're going to study that information. We'll put those three charts into picto chart. Okay. Things that I want you to include, you know, make sure we're analyzing the age and grade, 
okay, what type of answers did eighth graders give you? What type of responses did juniors and seniors give you? What, what Were they positive? Were they negative? Did they understand the content? Okay, but make sure that, you know, we're showing that content in a um, pie chart graph. We're putting, you know, that data into a quantitative analysis. Okay. And the last part to sum up this whole big project, you have to do a video blog and this is you as an individual. So you each need to do this separately from your groups. Okay. Use your video, YouTube webcam. All right. You're going to record yourself and just basically answering questions. Like, did you, how well did you guys collaborate um, using technology in this project? Were you able to work at your own pace and be creative? Okay. Did you have a say? Did the teacher give you enough autonomy in order for you to do what you needed to do? Did you, um, like, how did knowing who your audience was, like working for an audience, like working for eighth graders, working for juniors and seniors, did that um, help you or influence your project in any way? And if it did, tell me how it did that, okay? Then you're going to put that video, attach it inside your Picto chart. And there's that, that's easy peasy, you can get that done pretty quick. Okay, down at the very bottom, it shows you standards that you are meeting. Okay, and then also these are your quick links for turn in in case you get confused up at the top because there is a lot of text and a lot of links. And like I said, um, your audience, work towards your audience, but make sure you're coming across exciting, right? And it's not looking like a historical video. Okay, have a great time.